Hey, I want to thank you for always willing to help me and find my family and so forth. I thought I'd make you a little screencast to show you kind of what I run into and what I see on my end, on my DNA. So I got a hint today, and uh, long story short, it went to this picture here. And I said, oh, okay, so this is just a picture of where Charles came from, blah, blah. And I come over here, and it says this chick here. She's never shown up on my Gosnell matches, but that's... I'll show you how I do that in my ants and just kind of show you some of the names. So I click on it. And this is just what happens every time. Just almost every time. So it's like, okay, she says Charles Gosnell's her third great grandfather. So I click here on Brenda Hayes and she's a match. Okay, so she's a match to me. Um, that is about equivalent to like a fifth or sixth, actually six cousin, 11 cinnamon organs. So I come over here and I click on my aunt, Grace Brown. And of course she's doubled that. And that's about what I see. Now, there's some people that I don't have any DNA that we don't have in common. For example, uh, Beth Mills, who's active on the Dark Corner site, she is a match to me, but not my aunt. And that just means that my mother got a different set of Gosnell DNA than my Aunt Gracie did. So, this is my mom's full sister. So, if I go to my DNA and I go to DNA matches... Um, there's my dad, um, there's my aunt, my mom's sister. So I come here and I usually do this right here, Gosnell. Uh, search matches a tree and I do Glassy Mountain or, you know, they don't have Dark Corner. I think they should, but they don't. Uh, I'll put South Carolina or anything like that. So I hit search and, um, it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. As you can see, I've checked out, they don't have the blue little dots under beside their name which means I've looked at them so this is what I've done I've looked at every single one of these people and I'm pulling it down so maybe you will notice maybe you know some of these people but as we have talked about they've had so many kids and kids of kids of kids um, and I've looked about most of mine I'm gonna show you my aunts I know that you know Doug and that group he's got a brother that's and I'm really that what's odd about Doug um, he's got like a brother and a dad and a Howard that he's related to. Um, his mom, who his mom's May Howard, that family shows up. There's Mike Powell. He's on the dark corner site. This is Stephen Lindsay. He he's from he's on the dark corner site too, I think. But he is from Greenville. But he currently lives in Florida. I've talked to him. So I wanted to kind of go through this and maybe show, you can show your Uncle Tim. And mine keep going and they keep going and keep going. And these are all the people that have a Gosnell name. Oh, there's a new match. I'll look at him later. I will not bore you with that. I get so excited. <laughs> maybe there's a clue, a clue. Um, And some of the people that I've contacted, I've said, where did you get this information? They said they didn't really know. Um, some of the, some of it's, but these are people that claim they're a Gosnell or have Gosnell. There's this Pittman lady. I'm related to her. I'm not exactly who she is. Oh, the Pittmans were another family that came up here and went back and forth. Um, I've got that document and I've got it like bookmarked. bookmarks I have them over here but I'm gonna get all that together and show you the different families that came up here and, and who the original ancestor was from Greenville oh Lord teachers so anyway this is and I've gone through every one of my matches and there's a there's a lot more but I thought I would let you see all the names of them and then kind of give you my aunt's overview. We're getting toward the end of mine. Now see this Melissa Gosnell. She is a North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee descendant too. She's actually, I think, in Tennessee now. And David Gosnell. So as you can see, I have a tons and tons of Gosnell ancestry and descendants. And if you click on these people, um, now, this group right here, like you see the second cousins, these are the Gosnell descendants that I know. I know them. I know Daniel. I know Yvette. 
That's my cousin Yvette. She's got gauze on her. She got arrested the other week for beating up her boyfriend. <laughs> and she's like 60. Still feisty. Still feisty. Um, Sharon's from here. This is a, another cousin from here. I know them. So these are the Tennessee Gosnells, which they're always the fourth cousins. And, you know, if you do the shared match thing with someone else, you can't always see that they're shared with a Gosnell from si a dark corner descendant Gosnell. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to my aunt and I'm not even going to go through, but I'm just going to show you the mass. So, and this was my uncle's illegitimate child and my other uncle's illegitimate child. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that was interesting. She was put up for adoption and he didn't know about it until a few years ago. So, anyway, he thought his dad was somebody else and she thought her dad was somebody else. But she was placed up for adoption. Um, so, I'm going to go up here to search. Oh, and this one below that. Also, my uncle's granddaughter. A legitimate child. Anyway. Uh, you know, the damage is done. So I come right here with my aunt. And the first week I had started making a pretty good dent um, with her. But then all these other names started populating in and she had a lot more start coming through. Um, I've asked this person to share their information with me. They haven't. But Hers, you know, we have some of the same people like this person right here. She's not a match to me. Um, but of course we have the possibility of sharing a hundred percent or complete, not hundred percent, but 50% of the DNA because her and my mom are whole sisters. So it just means that my mom didn't get the same DNA as she did, but it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. But she had a lot of fifth through eighth cousins populate, um, within the last, there's that Pittman person. Um, in the last week or so, but I'm just going to show you some of them because she's got more than I do, but I wanted to show you that, you know, this is, you know, part of the course about what we're running into. And hopefully if you know some, like you can maybe put it together, like there's her DNA match. I know there's a lot of paces in the Bria area. I taught them. There's another new one. And if it's if I've gone through them sometimes because they were on my side already, they were already a match. But what I find weird is when I connect hers and I do like a shared matches, I can actually see Tennessee Gosnell's shared matches with dark corner people that are actually in the dark corner area. Like if I click on her, I don't know if this one will do it, shared match. Because it only goes up to fourth cousin. This right here is a Tennessee Gosnell. Tammy is, a, she lives about five miles down the road, and that cousin is managing another, I know her real well. Um, but sometimes you can see that down here, because this only goes four through six, it doesn't do distant cousins on your shared. You can actually see that um, some of the people connect and shared cousins from Tennessee to and on mine, I mostly just see if I do a shared match, it just shows me the Tennessee Gosnells, but hers actually pulls in some of the South Carolina Gosnells that are still in the area and so forth. But that's just something I wanted to show you there, if that makes sense. Um, but, yep, and it keeps on going and keeps on going. But when I went to Through Lines the other week, I noticed she had matches. And the thing with Through Lines is, um, I'm sure you know, that if they didn't quite... Some people didn't finish filling out their tree. If they had a partial tree, Ancestry will make the, the rest of the conclusion by saying, okay, if this is your grandparent and this is your grandmother, then their dad is Charles Gosnell, which means that this person is also your relative. So sometimes with the DNA through lines, I'll see that I'll go to their tree and it's not, it's incomplete, but it's because other people have done their tree for them or not for them, but have done their tree and have the same relatives and they have made guesstimates on that. I'll show you one other weird thing that happened. This is mine. I think this is mine. I have to get to my aunt's. Yeah, this one's mine. With my aunt, because people have misinformation, 
me included. I've been there. Um, if you scroll down here, which Sarah Elizabeth Charles, she has 69.92. Oh, there's two new ones. Um, and again, a lot of these people haven't completed their tree, but ancestries made the assumption or made the educated guess that we know this is your grandparent because you have these people in common in your DNA. I think they know more about who we're related to than they let on. And I'm going to do this. Lord. Okay, because some people think that uh, Charles's wife was Sarah Ward. I have 37 people, my DNA matches because of that. And that actually should be up here with Sarah Elizabeth. Um, because, and the Lindsay's, because we know that's not true. I don't know how that got started, but that has been copied over and copied over and copied over. So that's my line. But I know these people have um, and they're all from that area, so I don't know how that happened, but I've talked to a few people and they said it was not Sarah Ward. Sarah Elizabeth's parents weren't a Ward. So they got Richard Ward, but they got Sarah Elizabeth Lindsay. So that's one thing that's kind of hokey, but I'm pretty sure these matches, um, they meant Lindsay. Since I've got 30 matches here. Joshua, oh, greasy pockets. So, um, but with mine, I'll just show you the list. I'll go up here and do I'll go three lines. Go find Gosnell. Hope this isn't taking too long, and I appreciate you looking at it. I owe you dinner or something sometime. Gosnell, there's my grandpa. Okay, got it. Not too fast. So, like this one, you know, there's 19 matches, and I'll just kind of click on this and show you. And that's just from what they've gathered list. So this to show you, like, see, this is the way it is on mine too. This is Gracie, this is Matt, but I have like 28 to Gracie pockets, and she's got 37. And everybody else, and we're also we have a lot more. Like they ship as fourth cousins, see, four through six cousins. Whereas let's go to Morris. Um, you can see most of them are fifth through eighth cousins. So that's why I am, and I'm not related to these descendants in any other way on greasy pockets the four through six i have sliced their dad i've checked i've logged in on dads and checked and said maybe i'm related to them through my dad as well and i'm not and i can't find any other connection of why i would have more dna with them so you know more so it depends on how many generations are between us and you know maybe there's not as many generations between greasy pockets younger children the gunners and some of them as there are some of the older Gosnells like Morris and so forth. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you that. Thank you for watching. I'll talk at you later. Thanks.